Okay, two and a half kilometers from Acropolis, and this is officially downtown Athens. Unfortunately, I'm following a big black van, so you're not getting to see so much of it. And if I go slow, people are gonna lose their minds. Ooh, plenty of graffiti, miles. I'm realizing that I can feed off of the energy of the city instead of just keep it at bay or reject it. I can open up and just let it pass right through me and take the parts that I like and let go of the rest, not in a mental way, in a more visceral way. I can jump in the river and uh, go with it. It's a good feeling. this way all right things in Greece close early I keep showing up to these places like right before they're about to close down I'm at the Acropolis probably the last time in my life I'll ever be here and I have an hour and a half before they shut down so let's get going Am I supposed to be more impressed with this than I am with what is with us? Is that what idolatry is? To feel like it has more meaning than us? Is that what idolatry is? Maybe some people are just impressed. Maybe they're just impressed with the architecture or the amount of time it took to get built. I don't know, it's not, it doesn't flow, it doesn't move, it doesn't sway in the wind, it doesn't, I, I don't know. I, so here I am again, <laughs> underwhelmed. But I came ready to meet the Parthenon eye to eye. You and me equals, here we are. I see you, you see me, but I see me too. This place is not better than us. It doesn't deserve more respect than we do. We have every right to stand in a place like this and say, me too. So on one level, there can be an appreciation, but, but it's a calm appreciation. I'm not losing my mind over it, you know? Maybe this is why I struggle with taking pictures of places. Maybe this is why I struggle with creating memories of places I've been. Maybe it's a form of worship that I didn't recognize. It's a form of bowing down, maybe. I don't know. What am I giving up? What am I sacrificing? I can feel something. I can feel a spirit, an attitude. I can feel a giving away of my birthright when I stand here as if this has something to offer. Isn't that worship? Worship is I give you something because you're going to give me more. My sacrifices will get me blessed. Nobody sacrifices for an even trade or to get less than. It's always more. I don't know, I don't know all this figured out yet, but I bet you I will in the next couple hours. I'll be driving down the road, and it's gonna hit me, and I'm gonna get it. 
But what I know right now, it is not more special than us. It is not more valuable than the hands that built it. When an athlete won the ancient Olympics here in Greece, they would tear down part of their city wall for him to come through. I think that's meaningful. When you think about arches, when you think about gateways, when you think about the submissive nature that it creates, they have a champion. They don't make him walk through the gate and they don't make him submit to the arch. They tear down a part of the wall for him to walk through. That's what life should feel like. That's what, that's what life should feel like.